welcome children for the next episode in our previous class we discussed about the different properties of light what are the things you want to remember about light light can reflect or refract interfere and so many other properties it can do now light reflected from all the surface even though if it is regular or smooth surface sometimes the surface is irregular then also there will take place a reflection but the reflector rays may not be parallel in that case but in the case of smooth and plane surface reflection is in regular and reflector rays are parallel and also from this unit you studied about two laws of reflection one is incident ray then reflector ray normal at the point of incidence these are light on the same plane then second one is about the angle of incidence that means uh, this is incident ray this angle of incidence is equal to which angle can you remember we already discussed about it from your side this angle of incidence is equal to this angle of reflection then we also discussed about the regular reflection irregular or reflection then about the multiple reflection <coughs> multiple reflection that means uh, based on that uh, we use periscope and a kaleidoscope there we use multiple reflection from kaleidoscope we get a different patterns by the method of or by the uh, process of multiple reflection we get a different patterns then also we discuss about uh, how, what is the inside of our eye and the structure of the eye and its different parts uh, then we discuss about the blind spot and also how can we distinguish a blind spot then we discuss about the what persistence of vision how long the image of an object remains in our retina uh how long it is on by can you remember record from your memory it is for on by 16 second how long it remain on by 16 second then about uh, how to or uh, what is the method used to buy a uh, visually impaired person to read about they use braille system in that way they can uh, read 
these are the things we want to know from this unit now some questions more we want to discuss from this unit exercise come on that i am starting from the beginning suppose you are in a dark room can you see object in the room can you see object outside the room explain suppose you are in a dark room in a dark room we know to see an object our eye which help us to see object but i alone can see an object but there should be light also so suppose you are in a dark room can you see object in the room means because in a dark room there is no light so we cannot see the object can you see the object outside the room explain yes we can see object outside the room because there is light not fully but some amount of light is there so we can see object outside the room then question 2 from page number 212 difference differentiate between regular and diffused reflection does diffused reflection mean the failure of loss of reflection differentiate between regular and diffused reflection regular reflection means in the reflection of light if the reflector rays are parallel if the reflector rays are parallel then it will be a regular reflection for that the surface on which light incident should be smooth and plane that is smooth the plane surface from which only we get a, a regular reflected light rays in the case of diffused reflection if the surface is not a smooth then on the surface there is too much irregularities so even though if the incident rays are parallel the reflector rays may not be parallel the reflector rays are not parallel such kind of reflection is called diffused reflection such kind of reflection is called what is a diffused reflection then question number third one mention each of the following whether regular or diffused reflection will take place when a beam of light strikes justify your answer in each case in the case of polished surface polished surface means it is a smooth surface then the reflector rays becomes parallel so it is a regular reflection then b chalk powder in the case of chalk powder that uh, surface is not uh, smooth so the reflector rays are not parallel on a cardboard surface in the case of a cardboard surface there are too much irregularities not a smooth there is too much pit and a mount so the reflector light rays not parallel hence it is diffused reflection marble floor with water when water is spread over the marble floor that surface becomes smooth so the light reflected from that surface is regular then from mirror we know mirror there is a smooth surface which help us to see object so there will take place 
regular reflection. Next, piece of paper. In the case of piece of paper, it is not a smooth one, so there also diffuse reflection takes place. There also diffuse the reflection takes place. Now, question number four to one. State the laws of reflection that we already discussed in the beginning, and also we studied that you know what are the laws of reflection says on this incident ray, reflector ray, normal. These are lie on the same plane. Second one. Angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Then, question number 51. Describe an activity to show that the incident ray, the reflector ray, and the normal at the point of incidence lie in the same plane. We discussed about that activity in our previous class. So, just uh, you do it. Next question number 6 to all, fill in the blanks in the following. A person one meter in front of a plane mirror seems to be dash meter away from his image. Here is a mirror, a person is here at a distance of one meter, then its image is here, that is also 1 meter, so total 1 plus 1 equal to 2 meter. So the total is that is uh, the distance from error to object is 1 meter. Similarly, distance to image is also 1 meter, so he appears at a distance of 2 meter from him. Now, question, of, question B if you touch your left ear with the right hand left ear with the right hand in front of a plane mirror it will be seen in the mirror that your right ear is touched with the right ear is touched with the left ear that means uh, in the case of a plane mirror there will take place a lateral inversion that means uh, sideways it changes left to change uh, right Question C, the size of the people becomes dashed when you see in dim light. In dim light, light coming from the object is too small. So to see that more light rays should enter, so the people enlarge. People, what is a, that becomes a large so that more light, uh, it helps to enter in our eye. Night birds have dash cones than roads in the eyes. We know there are two different types of cells, cone cells and the road cells. Cone cells helps in bright light. Horn, cone cells help us to see object in bright light. Corn cells uh, helps us to see object in bright light. But road cells help us to see object in, object in dim light. So here, night birds have, in night we know what is dim light. So, which is less corn cells and uh, less corn cells than road cells. Because to see object in dim light, more road cells are required. So the cone cells here it is less. Now see, choose the correct answer in question 7 and 8. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Always, sometimes, under special conditions, never. We know. 
angle of incidence is equal to the angle of refraction always angle of incidence is equal to the angle of refraction always now question number 8 one image formed by a plane mirror is uh, virtual behind the mirror and enlarged not correct virtual behind the mirror mirror and of the same size as the object that one is correct b virtual behind the mirror and the same size as the object it is the image formed by the plane mirror then c real at the surface the mirror and enlarged plane mirror is not forming real image another one also real behind the mirror and the same size as the object here also image is given as real so it is not correct the only answer which is correct for the question 8 is b which is virtual behind the mirror and the same size as the object now question number 9 discuss the construction of kaleidoscope how to make a kaleidoscope that we explained in our previous class and also uh, there is an activity you did uh, so you can remember it now question number 10 to on draw a labeled sketch of the human eye you want to draw the labeled sketch of the human eye you know there are different parts sir our eye is what is a spherical in shape and uh, front the transparent portion is called cornea and uh, uh, in the uh, middle there is an opening pupil which uh, iris there then uh, which helps to uh, what is a uh, control the opening and of the uh, pupil then there is eye lens uh, retina optic nerve these are all things you want to uh, mark after drawing the figure now see question number 11 to gurmit wanted to perform the activity using laser torch her teacher advised her not to do so can you explain on the basis of the advice sir advice given by the teacher we know too much bright light and also too dim light harmful to our eye light from a laser torch light from the laser torch is too bright so it is harmful to our eye that is the reason up to this we discussed in our previous class now see again question number 12 to all explain how you can take care of your eyes what are the different methods that we can take care that we want to take we want to consider when we uh, taking care of our eyes that means uh, there are things we discussed uh, that means uh, if there is any problem sir uh, in your vision you go to the eye specialist and check regularly use uh, spectacles of suitable power and if there is any pore particle enter in your eye wash your hand uh, wash your uh, eyes uh, with a uh, uh, plenty of uh, clean water and also for the healthy eye you should wash your eyes regularly uh, at a, a certain interval sir uh, that help us to uh, remove any kind of uh, dust or other particles from our eye and then Uh, do not read at a dim or too much uh, bright light uh, and uh, when you are reading keep the book in uh, book or other things uh, at a suitable distance uh, minimum distance you know that distance is how much it is about uh, 25 cm for a healthy eye this are the things you want to remember now question number 13 to all What is the angle of incidence of a ray if the reflected ray is at an angle of 90 degree to the incident ray? See, 
Reflector ray is at an angle of 90 degree to the incident ray. That means incident ray, we know that uh, this is the angle of incidence, angle of reflection, angle of incidence, this. Here is the angle of incidence, this is angle of reflection, this is normal. We know these two angles are equal. This angle, angle of incident side, this angle, angle of reflection, these two are equal. Here what? What is given here? What is the angle of incidence of a ray if the reflector ray is an at an angle of 90 degree to the incident ray? That means uh, from here to here, the angle is uh, how much? Uh, 90 degree. That means uh, I plus R is equal to 90 degree. We know I and R are equal. So these two we can take as I plus I or R plus R. I plus I means 2I. That is equal to 90. So I is equal to 90 by 2. That is equal to 45 degree. This is the angle of incidence. Angle of incidence here how much it will be? It will be 45 degree. Angle of incidence in this case is a 45 degree. Now question number 14 door. How many images of a candle will be formed if it is placed between two panel plane mirrors separated by 40 centimeter? Two parallel plane rays separated by 40 cm and here is some candle is placed there. We can see very large number of images. That means uh, light reflected from this one will reflect by this one. Again light reflected by this one. So we can see numerous images of that uh, candle. Now question number 15 to all. Angle of reflection also 30. This reflector ray when this try 
sides here. Here it forms a triangle. This side is 60, this 30, this 90, this together 90 will come because this is normal or perpendicular. Hence, this side is 60 and this also 60. Hence, we got the answer. What is that? The reflector ray from the second mirror, it reflected at an angle of how much? 60 degree. It reflected at an angle of 60 degree. Now to question number 
can she see this image yes she can also see the image can bojo at the see see this image can bojo at the see see this image yes when pahali moves from b to c where does the image of a move that means sir when she moves from a to b that means from b to c the image of a that will be there image of this a is See when she is moving one where the uh, bojo saw the image there she can also see it. These are the questions given in this exercise. So once again, see the things you want to remember from this unit. Once uh, light is reflected from all the surface, even though it is a uh, rough or smooth. There are two types of reflection: regular and diffuse. On smooth surface, there will be regular. On a rough surface, the reflection is what diffuse. And also, you should remember about the two laws of reflection that you that we already discussed there. Image formed by a plane mirror is lateral inversion occurs, or there is lateral inversion in the case of a image formed by a plane mirror. That means uh, left side tends to right in that way. Two mirrors inclined to each other give multiple images. That means when we give, when we arrange two plane mirrors at an angle, we get more than one image. In the case if the angle is more than 180, sorry, angle is less than 180 degree, then by using kaleidoscope we get beautiful patterns. Then you should remember about this term, dispersion. What is actually dispersion? The splitting of a composite or white light into its constituent colors. That from violet to red in the case of sunlight, and that known is called what is a dispersion of light. Then. You should also remember about the uh, important parts of our eye. Then, some of, some person can see near object clear, uh, near object clearly, but they cannot see distant object clearly. And some other persons can see distant object clearly, but they cannot see near object clearly. And also there is another. Uh, problems uh, islands become foggy and cloudy due to uh, cataract that means it is happening usually due to what is aging and uh, it we can uh, uh, remove or uh, overcome by uh, uh, replacing islands with a uh, artificial lens then you want to remember visually challenged person can read and write using braille system but or which method is used to by visually impaired person what is a braille system is used to read and write that is visually impaired person is a braille system to read and write then such kind of persons have special some special ability as a, compared to others because a uh, normal person can uh, ability uh, to see 
object say, but visually impaired person say uh, doesn't have such ability so they have got some other ability uh, or uh, by, by touching or an, another way they can identify the object easily okay with this all we discuss about uh, the properties of light and the loss of light and uh, uh, multiple reflection uh, what actually uh, doing the visually impaired person okay with this all we can wind up this class thanks